number of measles cases continues to grow in Clark County. In fact, two more have been confirmed, bringing the total to 47. And we found out one of those cases involves a child who already had one dose of the MMR vaccine. Jennifer Dowling live tonight at the Clark County Health Department with what some local parents have to say. Jennifer? Good evening, Jeff. Jennifer, they tell me they're very worried about this outbreak of measles here in Clark County. One man told me he specifically went with his wife and child to the Riverwalk, not to the mall because he was afraid of exposing his child, even though he was vaccinated. Now, public health officials continue to investigate the outbreak here in Clark County. They say that more than half the confirmed cases have broken out in younger children ages 1 to 10 years old. All of the parents that we talked to today said that they had already had their children vaccinated. Still, they say they continue to worry about taking them to some public places for fear that their kids could still catch the virus. You want to keep kids from daycare now because uh, you just don't want, you know, any chance of your family to get, you know, to be a part of that. And I don't want anybody to be a part of that. My friends, like, that have kids that are under 12 months, they're like hiding them away in their houses and they can't go anywhere because they're worried, you know, because you don't want your kids to get sick. Public health is not reporting any new exposure locations other than those that have already been listed on their website. With the 47 cases in Clark County, one in King County, and one in Multnomah a few weeks ago, the total number of confirmed cases now sits at nearly 50 in the Pacific Northwest. So, anyone who believes they may have been exposed to the measles virus or who may have it, uh, public health officials are urging people to call their health providers first before going in as to limit exposure to others. Back to you. All right. And we have all the measles information at coin.com to bring you up to date. Jennifer, thank you.